Welcome back to The Broad Niche, where we fully embrace the struggle to focus on just one thing. This time, we are going to continue where we left off with the last video where we learned the single stitch and we're going to move right on into the half double. So to do the half double stitch, I am going to chain one and turn my work. And then it's going to be very similar to the single stitch, but we're going to yarn over first before going under the V of the first stitch. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with yarn overs and Vs, please refer to the two previous videos about the foundation chain and the single stitch. So you see what I did there. I yarn over, go under that stitch, catch the yarn and pull it through. And I now have three loops on my hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three of them. That is how you make a half double stitch. So it's very similar to the single. The only thing that's different is the yarn over before you go under the V and catch the yarn. You have those three loops on your hook, but you still just like with the single stitch, yarn over and pull through everything on your hook. The only difference is that you've got three, three loops there instead of two. So once again, you yarn over, go into that stitch under the V, catch your yarn and pull it back through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Yarn over again, go under that V, catch your yarn and pull it back through so you have three loops on the hook, and pull through all three loops. You'll just continue doing that to the end of the row. And I have to say, the half double is pretty much my favorite stitch in all of crochet. I think it's beautiful. I think it's interesting. It's simple, but it looks gorgeous, which you'll see after you work up a few rows of it. It's a little bit different from the single that we did before. If you turn your work, chain one, and why don't you do a few more rows of this and I will meet you back here after I do a few more rows of this. All right, there we have a few more rows of half double stitch and you can see as you compare it to the single stitch, it's just a little bit more interesting. You end up with this kind of slight swoopiness to the stitches. It, it just makes a really pretty piece of work. Just like with the single stitch though, as I was saying, it's very easy to miss the stitch at the end of the row. So you'll want to make sure that you catch that last V on every row. And if you're not sure that you have all of your stitches, the easiest thing to do is just count the V's at the top. It can be a little bit challenging to identify the parts of the stitch to count from the front or back of the work. But if you count the V's, you can't go wrong. So you just count along the top here and make sure you have the same number of stitches that you had when you started. So that's it. That is the half double stitch. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos in this series. And I hope to see you back here at the Broad Niche. Take care. Bye.